<clears throat> hey everybody, Shane Cross, Midwest Maniac Outdoors. Hey, today got a special guest with me. This is a very good friend of mine. Um, also happens to be my preacher, <laughs> but you know that that, that doesn't matter. Uh, we're we're just as big as friends. I love him just as much as I do uh, as as a preacher for him. But hey, today it's it's smack dab middle of October. Oh boy, unfortunately it's warm, <laughs> warm, real warm, and and it's windy. Yep, but. Uh, taking him out to this special place. Um, you know, every one of us as hunters, we've got our own special place that uh, that we like to go or that we know is a sure thing, but uh, nothing's a sure thing in the hunting world, we understand that. But uh, today, got Robin Sigers with me, and um, we are gonna go out to our, our special place. We're gonna sit in the blind tonight, have a little change of plans yep. just, just because of the wind. Yeah. You know, we got gusts up to 20 mile an hour, so um, instead of retrofitting him with a a safety harness. It'll just be a little, little easier, a little safer for I might still trip going out there, but well, we'll make it. If, if you do, I will try to get that on video. <laughs> okay. But and we'll have a good time with it. But I'm sure you can hear it in the background that the wind is is howling. Um, it's it's getting close time to go to that afternoon hunt, and and hopefully. It's going to be successful. You, yeah. you got anything that you want to say well, about it? I'm just looking forward to this, getting out there. It's been a long time. I used to hunt all the time. and just did, I haven't hunted in 30 years, buddy, so it's been a long, long time. I'm, I'm excited to get out there. Really? 30 yeah. years? 30 years. Well, that might Man. might explain why that uh, crossbow bolt hasn't come down yet. Yeah. Because he <laughs> had him out here Saturday yeah. working on the crossbow because that's what he's using today, and uh, he shot it well. Uh, the crossbow's dialed in. Um, everything that he needs out there, all the shots are going to be under 30 yards, so it, it's going to be good. If uh, the deer come in like they have been on the camera, yeah. Yeah. here in the next hour and a half, two hours, uh, deer should be filtering down to us or filtering up, headed to their staging area for the place that they go eat uh, every evening, yeah. but we're looking forward to it. I'm, I'm ready. Forward. I'm ready. I'm ready to get out there. All right. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go do it. Let's go do it, man. Okay. All right, here we are. We've made it to the blind. We had a long track out here. Oh, I worked up a sweat in my sofa. But we're in here in the blind. Robin's got the crossbow all set up. It's, it's ready to rock and roll. But we're going to see what happens. Um, the last few nights, there was this nasty, gnarly five-point. He's got four on one side and a big dagger on his other side. So hopefully, uh, he came in here yesterday at about 618. So hopefully, he'll come back. Another good thing is, I've got a camera right outside this blind location. These little, I, I know it's early, but these 18-month-old bucks, they're fighting like crazy in front of the dust flying everywhere, knocking each other over. So it's getting that time of year. Everybody knows, hey, it's 2020. Everything's messed up. Everything. Everything. Everything's messed up right now. But that's all right, because we're going to try to put the Maniac Smack on with the night. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm.
that is the sound of a crashing deer. <laughs> that sound right there. Good job. All right. Urban hunting at its best right there. Right there. Man, the best. Maniac smack. Smacked it down, buddy. Yeah, that's it. She was, uh, she was leaving a good blood trail before she ever even uh, got out of our side. I could see it coming out of her shoulder. So, what was that? 12, 13, 14 yards? Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Had four of them come up on us. Right there. Just feeding along. <laughs> That's how it goes. So what we're gonna do, the wind finally laid down on us. Yeah. Not much, it's, it's been relatively calm for the last 20 minutes or so. And uh, I could hear them, something coming up that way, and I, I know you picked something up because I saw you looking over that way, and finally, we, we saw them coming up this little saddle back right here um, to our to our southwest and uh i mean they, they couldn't have read the script any better uh -huh. that's, that's perfect that's, that's a very perfect. that's a very good nanny right there yeah. that, that's that's going to be a good deer we're going to give her just a little bit and uh we're going to go out and we're going to see if we can't find find some blood and then uh of course the way she's out and she's only about 45 yards yeah. up at ridge she so. went down pretty quick <laughs> yeah yeah it's a good shot all right well, congratulations. Hey, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. That's what, it's all, saying, man. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about right here. Man, you couldn't have asked for anything better than that right there. Man, we waited and waited and waited, like Shannon said. And the wind died down, and it got perfect out here. There's not a breeze, nothing right now. They just came right up across. I couldn't have asked for anything. It's like, which one, which one, which one? They're all broadside. 10, 12 yards away, right there. And they finally waited you know Shannon's you want me to stop her no I'm gonna get her right then and we did man we did so she took off right up here if we could find some blood up here somewhere pretty quick oh yeah oh buddy oh yeah oh yeah we got a whole bunch right here yep look at that oh yeah Look at that yeah. blood. There is. You smoked her hard. Man. There is a paint can that has been opened. <laughs> yes, sir. Get a long time since I had to follow a blood trail, buddy. So, right here. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. I've never got to follow one this easy either. Guide service is excellent. Excellent guide service. Had everything set up and ready to go. Man. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, she is. There's that infamous white belly. That's what we like to see right like there. See. All right. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations. Oh, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Let's walk around here on the other side and we'll get a better look at her. Good West Maniac, man. They're, they are the service, buddy. It is what's bad. He just bought about, about bought that house up there so I could be Crouch's neighbor. So house is way up there, but we've been hunting on each other all the time, you know. Oh, yep. She wedged herself in there. Look at that shot. Right there. Great shot. Wow, what an amazing hunt. I'm telling you, I had a blast. Out there hunting with uh, a very good friend of mine and just to see the excitement on his face, just to hear him out there dur during the hunt was great. We got to do a lot of talking. And um, you know, he had been hunting 31 years. <laughs> it's a long time. But 
as, as you can see, he was excited and, and everything worked out great. But uh, this is something I want to tell you all about. You know, Robin here, um, shortly after this this hunt, um, he had a lump come up on his on his throat, and um, he, he was smart about it. He went and got checked out real quick. Uh, unfortunately, he, he was diagnosed with uh, a type of cancer that, that was attacking his tonsils, and he has been battling this, going through radiation and chemo, getting a double dose at a time, and um, you know, th this is this is why faith is so important, and I'm going to tell you guys this. Um, you know, he has really leaned on his faith big time, and and we all have. We we pray for Robin every single day at my house, and um, he he's battling through it. He he's on the tail end of it now, and he's he's whooping it. And you know, I'll, I'll praise praise be to God, glory be to God on this because. That, that's what's kept Robin focused and, and of course his wife Jamie is <laughs> she's a rock you know we all we all talk about our our, our wives our significant others and uh, you know I pray for her just as, just as much because she has just as much in this journey as Robin does and um, she keeps Robin on track but everything is, is working out he's getting better and um, we're looking very forward to uh, 2021 bow season um, out here at the reservation, I have got a, uh, a very large 10 point that uh, we have named Preacher. And that's the one that hopefully Rob is going to be able to get back out here and he's going to be able to harvest. But hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have a friend, um, take them hunting with you. And above all, you know, give, give praise to God in everything that you do. And uh, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy path, but it's the path that you want to walk. All right. I'll see you in the stand.